Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D and today we're going to try and create an animated short film in 15 minutes. How much? 15 minutes. Now this animation is for Deadset Digital YouTube channel. So if you want, link in the description, head over there. Um, but let's just jump into it. Okay, so let's kind of go through everything I've got open at the moment. So I've got Character Creator 3, I've got Reillusion, where I'll be doing the facial motion capture. I'm not going to be doing body motion capture for this story. And I've also got Unreal Engine Project open. Now this um, pack came for free back in the day. So I now do monthly reviews to remind you guys to download these free assets. So you haven't already, subscribe. Okay, so let's start off in three, two, one. So from here, I've got my character open. I'm going to go file, export, send character to iClone. Wham, bam, thank you, man. Let's open up that. First thing we've got to do is extend the project just in case we go over 1800 frames. Just to be safe, then sorry. So let's go project settings. Let's go 5000. There we go. And we have to still move this green thing all the way to the edge. Come on, off you go. Let's bring that back to the start. So our character is selected. Let's click on motion live, motion live. Let's bring this thing in Bob over. Is our IP address correct? Yes, it is. So I've got my iPhone here. Let's click connect, record the audio. Let's make sure with that, I'm gonna click on face. That's ticked. Now what I'm gonna do is look at this. I'm gonna set my zero pose. I'm just gonna look at the camera with a blank face and then we'll record from there. Cool beans. And space. Oh, my wife left me. It was, I don't understand. Like things were going so well. We, we owned a house. We we're talking about having kids. Then, then I had the industrial accident. I lost all my toes, all of them. You know, then things got weird between us, you know, and eventually she just, she just packed her things and left. I don't know. I guess she was just lactose intolerant. <laughs> uh, let's get rid of that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly test. Oops. My wife left me. It was, I don't understand. Like things were going so well. We, we owned a house. We we're talking about having kids then. Then I had the industrial accident. I lost all my toes, all of them. <laughs> you know, then things got weird between us, you know? And Would have been cleaner if I had to shave. She just packed her things and left. I don't know. I guess she was just lactose intolerant. All right, so about 2,100 frames. Um, what I'm gonna do is just put in this sitting bench, just so he's sitting there. And let's just make sure. Ah, oh, darn it. Okay, let's at the start there as well. And let's just see if the camera will work out well. If I kind of put it here. Through accident. I lost all my. That's fine. Cool. Let's now go file, file, export, FBX. We're not going to go from Blender. We're going to go straight into Unreal Engine. 30 frames. The range, 2,100 frames. Embedded textures, no. Let's go export. I should probably save this somewhere. Um, we'll just dump this one in here for now. Let's go UE4 underscore toes. I'm just gonna copy that. Cool beans. I'm just gonna move this back over. There we go, just so I can sit up a little bit better. All right, now this I think will kill me a little bit. This will take up a bit of time. Come on, we're against the clock. Um, now we're gonna go back into Unreal Engine, right click, let's go new folder, and we're just gonna call this character. Um, let's go find our character. So let's just go into D drive, temp. Oh, character test. What do we say, you have four toes? I'm gonna to put that one in there. Auto setup is not supported for this version of the... Oh, you suck. That's weird. High quality shaders, let's just see what happens. Dang it. 
uh, skeleton. Oh gosh, I got to remember all this now. Import animation, animated time, something about T-pose. There we go. Use T-pose as reference. There's nothing to import there. We need to import, don't import materials, don't import textures. And then I think we go import all. And so now this will probably be the longest part. And then from here, what we'll do is we'll set up the camera. Now I do have a video, kind of a longer video explaining about how to set up the camera, how to use the sequencer and all that kind of jazz. That seems to have come through pretty quick. Question is, did I do the right thing? I certainly hope so. Here we go, auto processing. I think this is now where it's creating the materials. This is the laborious bit. I think last time I did an animation, I was importing like four or 5,000 frames. So we might be okay. We might be okay. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. It is fairly late at the moment. It's uh, 10 to 11 at night. Um, like I've said before, this film will probably go up on Deadset Digital. So if you haven't already, hit subscribe over there. Okay, cool. Did it work? Um, oh, crud. Now, which one do we import? The skeletal mesh. Skeletal mesh. And then I think what we got to do is... No, do we don't put that one on there. Skeletal mesh. Animation. Oh, crud. Which one is it? Do I have anything? UE4 toes. Dang it. Or is it this one? I'm just going to import them both. I'm just going to press play. weird music in the background that I've now got to work out where that's coming from. Oh my goodness. Let's have a look. Spotlight. Well, it's actually, I can get away with the music. That's fine. All right. Future Marco's problem. Let's just put this guy in the right place and let's get rid of this guy. And I'm just going to place him on the chair as if he is talking to someone. Now, obviously I probably should have animated him I probably should have obviously animated him a little bit. Um, I'm just going to sit him up. He's a little bit high. You know what? That's fine. Actually, we'll just sit him like that. So that if we get an angle like this. Okay. So from here, what are we going to do? We're going to add in a sequencer. Where do we get a sequencer from? Ooh, I don't know. Uh, let's go right click animations sequencer in here. Oh, gosh, now I'm rusty. Media. Come on, where's the sequencer? Nope. Media. Nope. This is costing me time. Level sequencer, there we go. Whatevs. Let's dump that one in. And then if we now open up level sequencer, we can bring this to sit here. Okay, good. So now add actor to sequencer. Um, you are UE4, I believe, UE4, Toes Animation. And if we scrub through it, he doesn't have an animation. So we need to add our UE4 animation. Let's make sure that sits on zero. So if we kind of see now, we're scrubbing through it. What camera is this? Camera Actor 1. Track? No. No. <laughs> uh... Camera actor one. All right. So now we've got this. So we'll see what this is. Let's kind of now just kind of put it in place. Oh, I don't like this camera. What about this camera? How does that look? That looks a little bit better. Okay. Let's go with that one. You delete. Gosh, I don't know how, I don't know where we are at now. It's just all this fiddling. Maybe, maybe what we might do is just kind of something like this. He's hiding the fact that he's in the couch a little bit. Okay. Cool beans. Camera cuts. Um, 
Now let's just make sure we've got the right camera selected. Nope, we don't. What do I do now? Oh, how do I? Okay, so that's that. Let's add camera actor. Get rid of that one, put that one there and extend it. This camera is way too far back. So let's kind of just bring it forward a little bit, um, change it to local. There we go. So something like this. And we've got that nice view of outside. Oh, I hate you with a passion. Why did that set a keyframe? Oh, come on. We're getting there. This is now taking a lot longer than I hoped. Beautiful. Let's go with that. Don't move. Um, oh, geez. How long's the animation? Uh, character four. Okay. So there's, that's how long the animation is all the way to there. Let's kind of now expand this as well. Cool. Now we're going to go save, render this movie or image sequence. Let's go like that. AV, no. Can we do image output, image sequence, PNG, no audio because I don't care about that. Let's go 1080, blah, blah, blah. blah. Okay, let's go just put this. Okay, select folder, content. No, let's, let's create a new folder. Um, render image. I don't know where we are. I can't remember. Select folder. So we'll select that, blah, 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 blah. Capture movie. Sure, save selected. And so we'll see just quickly how this is going to render out. Obviously, if we were using Eevee, we're talking about a second of frame. We exported 2000 frames, 2100 frames, um, and that was framed at, that was recorded at 60 frames a second. Um, so, and we'll go down to 30. So we've got a thousand frames. What's a thousand times a second, 60, 360. So it would have taken about four minutes to render. And you can see how quickly we're rendering. That's already almost a hundred frames. So while we're waiting, let's bring up Vegas because Vegas is my editing program of choice. Um, we will also come back into iClone because I've got to save the audio. So let's go render, export audio as a wave. Uh, range will be 2100. Let's go export. Um, we'll just go D. Let's just put this in my temp folder with everything else. Character test. This will be uh, UE4 toes. Ord, save, bam, done, close. Now we're just waiting for Unreal Engine. So we're at 2, 270 frames. Your frame rate has been under, I don't care. Cancel, ignore, just keep going. So anyway, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, you can see just quick how quickly I'm trying to move. I think we're about 12 minutes in or it could be 13. I think I started at 46. So now we're at 13-ish. But you can see how quick we're rendering. And that's why predominantly now I'm going to be trying to do a lot more films in Unreal Engine. Um, just because like rendering, look at this. This is ridiculous. And the quality should be good. Now I really should have probably tweaked the cameras a little bit. But at the end of the day, we're doing this in 15 minutes. So time pressures. So we're almost at halfway mark. Um, let's kind of maybe get Vegas starting prepped. Let's go into our temp folder. Toes Ord, we'll bring, don't, Toes Ord, bring that one in. From here, I'm gonna plop it in there. Let's go right click, uh, channels, we'll make it combined. And then you can see it's very quiet. So what I can do now is go equal or oh, normalize. My wife left me. It was, I don't understand. Beautiful. Now from memory, the animation, I actually need to move the audio back, I think 11 frames. Now, why do I got to do that? It's because I'm using the iPhone and the iPhone is connected over Wi-Fi, So there is that lag. So that's something to keep in mind. 
um, what we might do as well. While we're here, let's just go into my Markham 3D folder and grab that thing in there. Whoops, come back. And that'll be at the end. Yeah, 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 yeah ding dong. Um, no, 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 properties, hang on. Media, so let's just quickly change that. So I've stuffed up here. I know it's still rendering properties. It needs to be 30 frames a second. Use a, a 30 frames a second, apply and okay. That's fine. How are we doing Unreal Engine? Come on, buddy. 900. It should be a thousand frames. <laughs> Come on. Uh, actually, while we're here, let's quickly go. Where did I put it? Unreal Engine. Uh, realistic rendering. Content. Rendered images. There we go. We're at 1,045. Stop now. 51. Okay, cool. Import. First frame is stuffed. That is fine. Okay, so from here, let's go back into Vegas. File. Import. Media. Oh, you jerk, aren't you? Let's come back into here. Let's go copy, control V, select that one, open image sequence, open. Uh, yeah, yeah, ding dong. Let's put that one in there. And then we'll kind of line this up. My wife left me. Well, uh, okay, so here, let's go back over here. That is now about 11 frames. Space. <sighs> My wife left me. It was, I don't understand, like things were going so well. We, we owned a house. We we're talking about having kids. Then, then I had the industrial accident. It would have been nice to actually having the I arms all moved. My toes. All of them. You know, then things got weird between us, you know, and eventually she just, she just packed her things and left. I don't know. I guess she was just lactose intolerant. I think that's 15 minutes. Now we just got to render it out. Up it goes. I'm an idiot. <laughs> so we went over a little bit, but the results wasn't too bad. I um, probably if I had changed it a little bit, I probably would have used the motion capture suit. But you know, the fact that we kind of went from, you know, recording, uh, through to importing to Unreal Engine, setting up the camera, so on and so forth, and even uh, rendering out the animation. That was that's pretty decent effort. So if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out. Keeps updating my content. And I'm trying to hit that 100,000 mark. So if you can help me out, that'd be great. Hoo-ya! I'm an idiot.